is the time I had people in my stream. So you got a shiny Gengar. Nice. Congratulations, man. That's actually really cool, not gonna lie. G Max, um, Gigantamax Shiny Gengar is awesome. I caught a, uh, I actually ended up catching a 6 IV, um, Shiny Gudra yesterday. It was pretty cool. I was freaking out. I was already, like, I was already hyped up about the fact that it was shiny, and I checked it and it was 6 IVs. I was freaking out. I was losing my mind. Let me pull up my stream on my phone so I can actually reply. Yep, shiny Gengar. <laughs> That's nice. You got a shiny Gengar, though. I'd be happy about that if that was him. If he was me, I'd be happy about that. Or if I was you. I can't English. I have not been able to English properly today. And this is where I lose, by the way. <laughs> See, um, if you haven't noticed, I don't use restricted Pokemon very often because it's not fun. It makes it way too easy. Restricted Pokemon are way too easy and take no skill to use, so I just prefer not to use them. I don't get why he's protecting. Didn't I just use Hyper Beam? That's GG, though. That's GG. Granted, I could easily use my Restricted Team, but it's not fun. It's just too easy to use. It's just way too easy. I just, I don't like the ranked series 12, and I'm glad that I only have to deal with this for another month. Like, after this month, I only have to deal with it for one more month. I'm just not a fan of playing against restricted Pokemon. I, I, it's just not fair. Like, you look at, um... Like, you look at the teams I make, and they're really good. They'd be really, really good if the restricted Pokemon were still restricted. Which, initially, I thought it was cool. I thought restricted, you know, being able to have two restricted Pokemon would be fun. And then I realized that 90% of people spam Behemoth Blade with Zacian, and the only actual counter to Zacian is either Trick Room or Dracovish. And even then, if they properly EV trained their, um, their Zacian, they can just outspeed Dracovish anyways. It's stupid. Like, even Dracovish Choice Scarf gets outsped by a properly EV and hyper-trained Zacian. It's just, it's not cool. Just not the move. And the guy that I'm fighting right now is using a Zacian. So get ready, guys. You're gonna see what I mean by Behemoth Blade Go Burr. I just don't get why Zacian gets to be so powerful and Zamazenta gets to be so useless. Like, I'm half tempted to see if one of my buddies will play through Sword again and trade me the Zacian. I'm half tempted to. But at the same time, I don't want to stoop as low as some of these other people. And I'm hoping this guy didn't bring Zacian, because if they did, it's just GG instantly and I'll lose. Which I think... I think the whole restricted meta is screwed. But that's just my opinion. <clears throat> and I know that my opinion in a community with millions upon millions of fans doesn't really have any... doesn't hold any water. And I've come to accept that, but I'm still going to speak my opinion, because I can. Also, there's a reason that I have Hatterini as my trick room setter. Just look at how tanky she is. She tanks a lot. <laughs> and when I say a lot, I mean a lot, period. Hmm, I wonder if I'll get the chance to heal Pulse. Might as well try it. I'm running support Gardevoir with Lagging Tail, so I might as well try it.
<laughs> I'm not gonna get the chance to kill Pulse. That was pretty smart though, using Scary Face to lower Groudon speed in Trick Room. That was pretty smart. But is it going to outsmart me? I don't think so. And I know that as soon as I send out Vaporeon, they're gonna send out um, Gastrodon. So let's see, let's wait my options. I could Dynamax and Max Hailstorm. Yeah, I think Max Hailstorm on Groudon is the way to go. Dynamax, Max Hailstorm, Groudon, and Psychic on Groudon. And they're either going to... Oh, they're not switching out. Okay. I thought they would switch into Gastrodon. Okay, time for a Max Hailstorm and time for a Psychic. I'm double attacking Groudon because he is way too big of a threat to be left alive. And if you guys saw my video on the competitive state of Sword and Shield, this is the Vaporeon I talked about. The extremely tanky Vaporeon. Like, look at that. I'm still above half health, even though I took two direct attacks. Oh, of course. Defensively trained you on. You know, I never figured out whether the max moves were physical or special. All I know is that I'm going to lose because restricted meta go burr. You know, I think after this, I'm going to play some Dynamax Adventures and try to get a shiny Xerneas. And I know it's a sword exclusive, but if someone is hosting it, you can actually get it on shield. Mm, I don't trust going into a Max Geyser. I just don't trust it. I'll protect with Gardevoir, but I know Vaporeon's not gonna... I called it Gastrodon. Here comes Gastrodon. Watch it. Called it. It's Gastrodon. So I made the right call in using Max Hailstorm again. I just... I don't know. I'm gonna try and get Shiny Xerneas, because you can only catch Dynamax Adventure Legendaries once. And after you've caught them, if you want to catch them again, you have to do it on a separate profile, which means you have to beat the game, go back to the Isle of Armor, beat that, go back to the Crown Tundra, beat that, and it's just... It's more... It's more work than what it's worth, okay? Granted, I would do that to get the Ice Rider Calyrex and then trade it over, but what is the point in that? Yep, there goes my Vaporeon, and my Gardevoir is going to be next. And then my Sylveon. But that's my problem with, um... That's my problem with the meta right now. I think the Pokemon company made a stupid decision by letting us use restricted Pokemon. I think it was a stupid decision, and I'm not a fanboy. I will I will call out anyone for doing something stupid, and this is one of those stupid things the Pokemon company has done. They did the Dex cut and said it was for balancing issues, but that's that's a straight up lie because we have Zacian, and we're allowed to use restricted Pokemon. I mean, I get it. They're in the game. You should be allowed to use them. But you should be able to pick whether or not you play ranked and with restricted Pokemon or not. And quite frankly, I don't think it's fair to force people who want to play legitimately and who want to have variety in their team be forced to play against people who just go, Oh, restricted Pokemon, go burr. Like, you guys are going to see my... I'll, I'll do one more battle. But you guys are going to see my win-loss ratio. Almost every single loss on here from the season is because legendaries go burr. See right there, I'm 13 and 26. All 26 of those losses are because, haha, Behemoth Blade go burr. Haha, Precipice Blades go burr. Haha, Water Spout go burr. Like, yeah, so cool. And let's see here. 
Yep, Zoshin, Behemoth Blade, Go Burr, Ice Rider, Cowler, X Trick Room, Go Burr. Though I can't speak on Trick Room because I'm using a Trick Room team. But still, it's just scummy playstyle. It's a, it's a scummy playstyle all around. And now I don't know whether or not to bring... Do I bring my low tick or do I bring Colossal? Hmm. Zoshin's gonna one-hit Colossal anyways. The only thing that's not getting one-hit by Colossal... Or not Colossal, by um, Zoshin is my Vaporeon. What do I do here? Milotic, um, so Milotic could win against practically every Pokemon they have except for Regieleki. Uh, Regieleki and Tapu Fini. Well, let's try it. Let's see what happens. And yes, Damien, I know I have no audio. I'm not entirely sure how to get my capture card to record audio, and I haven't screwed around with it enough yet. I'm gonna screw around with it later and see if I can get it to pick up audio. Tapu Fini Incineroar. Incineroar is gonna use Fake Out. Well, probably into Hatterini. Let's see here, fake out. I'm calling it now, fake out into Hatterini. And. You know, I'm Dynamaxing turn one Vaporeon. I know, I'm super smart, you know. But listen, just hear me out, y'all. Dynamax turn one Vaporeon. Max Geyser and Cinderor. They're not gonna see it coming. No one ever sees it coming. And no one ever expects Vaporeon to be as good as it is. It's very underrated. Oh, and by the way, I just thought I should point out, I don't play by Smogon rules. I think Smogon rules are very weird and confusing. I'm not going to call them stupid because people are allowed to play the game however they want. But I'm not going to play by Smogon because I just, I don't, <laughs> I don't understand it. Smogon just, it, it's way too confusing to me. But there's the Max Geyser onto Incineroar. So that one shots it. And now I've got rain set up to boost my um to boost my max geyser for next turn. Depending on what he sends out. If he sends out, let's say Dragonite, I'd have to have max Hailstorm. If he sends out Zacian. If he sends out Zacian, I'm gonna have to max geyser it. But I don't know if he's going to go to attack Hatterini again. If they both focus on Vaporeon, I probably survive. Because I'd probably tank Behemoth Blade on half health, if not less. Okay, so he's sending out Calyrex. Alright, so Ice Rider Calyrex. He's going to Dynamax it. Since I've got rain set up, a max geyser should do the trick. I'm just hoping that my Vaporeon outspeeds. Yep, there's a Dynamax. As long as Vaporeon outspeeds and gets off the max um, geyser, I should be able to take minimal damage this turn. However, I don't see that happening. I see Calyrex outspeeding and hitting, probably gonna target my Vaporeon. As long as it's not a Max Lightning, I should be fine. Yep, they're setting up Call Mines with Tapu Fini. I don't have to worry about that just yet. Now, did I bring Sylveon? I'm pretty sure I did. If I brought Sylveon, I saved myself. If I didn't pack Sylveon, it's already a GG. 
because there is no conceivable way for me to win against a maxed out top of Okay, it's overgrowth. I should tank that. Okay, I do tank it. See, people don't understand how tanky Vaporeon is. When I say my Vaporeon is tanky, I mean it is like to the to the max tanky. And there's the special attack drop on Calyrex. Weakness policy. Hmm. I don't think it's going to save it though. Because according to last turn, unless there's a speed tie and then it's RNG, unless there's a speed tie, my Vaporeon still outspeeds. <clears throat> but I'm gonna run I'm gonna run magic powder on top of Feeny this turn. I should have done that last turn. I'm gonna run magic powder top of Feeny, max guy for Calyrex, and that'll take it out this turn. Which means it's my last turn of Dynamax taking out their Dynamax. Turning Top of Fini into a Psychic type, then I can start chipping away at it with my Water type moves. And since it will probably be Mono type Psychic, I'm going to assume that Dragon Pulse from Milotic will hit it. Oh, Top of Fini is using Heal Pulse. Okay. Okay, so they're running Support Top of Fini. Crit, 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 crit. Well, that's that's game over. I didn't crit the um, Calyrex. Unless Dazzling Gleam crit, I am going to lose. Yeah, I'm definitely going to lose unless... Um, Oh wait, it's not Dazzling Gleam, I forgot. Magic Powder so I can take out Top of Fini. As long as I don't use Trick Room yet, I'll be fine. I still have two Pokemon in the back. I've got Sylveon and Milotic, which is amazing. I am insanely lucky that I brought Sylveon, because my Sylveon can, um... My Sylveon's pixelate, so I can Hyper Beam the Calyrex. Only problem is, I need to hope and pray that it crits. I can either Mystical Fire, which probably won't KO it. Uh, scratch that, it definitely won't KO it. Hyper Beam is my only chance at KOing Calyrex. Especially because Top of Fiend is using Heal Pulse. Oh. Okay, it's gonna hailstorm Sylveon. I'm calling it either Sylveon or Hatterini. Okay. So hailstorm on Hatterini. So let's see here. Is it a two v three now? This is their last turn of Dynamax. The good thing about my Sylveon moving second in the turn order is that Hyper Beam will hit after Heal Falls. Oh, that's right. Heal doesn't do damage to Ice types. Time to Dragon Pulse and hope for the best. If my Dragon Pulse crits, I could KO. But Sylveon has to recharge, so Sylveon is going to be the target of attack. My Lodic should be fine, and especially because I got Citrus Berry. As long as I don't get critted, I should be okay. <sighs> that Tapu Fini's annoying, but there's nothing I can do against it right now because of the Calyrex. Seed Bomb is going to go to my Lodic. And that's BS, there's no way that one shots. And this is why I hate being able to use restricted Pokemon in ranked, in competitive period. Again, like I said in the video, casual, I don't care if someone uses hacked or restricted Pokemon because it's casual. 
you're not going for a rating, you're not going for a rank, but in ranked you're going for a rating, you're going for a ranked. So if you hack your Pokemon, you're not willing to legitimately work your way to the rank, what's the point in getting it? What's the difference between hacking your team to play ranked in Pokemon and using an aimbot to hit diamond and siege? <clears throat> There's no difference between the two. You're playing illegitimately both ways for a competitive mode. Well, there's the loss. I told y'all. Legendaries go burr. That's the only way to play in ranked. No, I actually screw this guy. I'm going to use my restricted team. Oh, and by the way, if anyone's watching this who goes, Oh yeah, we can use restricted legendaries go burr. I just want to say a personal screw you to every single one of you because you're single-handedly killing the game. Just thought I should point that out. But no, you guys want to play dirty? I can play dirty too. You guys really want to play dirty? We'll play dirty. It's all fun and games until I start playing the same way they play. They want to play dirty, I'll just use an insanely overpowered setup. It's not that big of a deal. I just want to hit Master Ball tier, but I'm going to have to wait until after next month for the new regulations. And hopefully the new regulations will... <laughs> make restricted Pokemon restricted again because there's a reason they were restricted to begin with they're way too powerful because most people want to get their restricted Pokemon shiny and you have to do it through Dynamax adventures and each one takes maybe 20-30 minutes to do depending on your teammates depending on the Pokemon you fight and depending on the legendary you're going for it can take upwards of 30 minutes so, it's a 1 in 300 chance. So, let me actually... I don't know if this will close out the stream. I hope it doesn't. So, let's see here. I'm gonna do... 30 times 300 divided by 60 150 hours is what it would take to uh, assuming it took you exactly 300 tries to get the shiny it would take you 150 hours straight of playtime to get it and that's not even considering the fact that even though it's 1 in 300 it can take more than 300 tries to get it that's not even considering that. So I think it's kind of stupid. <clears throat> I think restricted Pokemon should be left as restricted. What's the point in classifying something as restricted if you're going to let people use it anyways? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Yep, Eveltal, Grimmsnarl. Guy is too lazy to make his own team. Oh, I say, I'm gonna. I should just use a rental team that has Zashian on it then. I mean, at this point, uh, at this point, it'd be better than just not doing anything or to continually lose. But then again, I don't want to sink down to their level and then say that that's okay. 
I can't just sit here one minute and say it's not okay and turn around and do it the next. It's not right. It's not right at all for me to do that. Like, that wouldn't make me any better than anyone else if I did that. And this guy's not going to protect twice in a row, and if he does, if he does, he gets very lucky. But it's probably going to fail, because it usually does not work twice in a row. I've only ever had it work twice in a row. Like, once. Though, there was a World Championship match that had, um... That had a triple protect work, and it was crazy. People were freaking out and losing their minds over it. But again, this is like the main problem with Restricted. And also, remember when I said Zamazenta is not very good, or not as good as he should be? That's what I meant. He's only defensively good, he's not offensively good. He sucks offensively. And I didn't bring Dragapult, did I? Or did I? Let me check. I did. And I'm choice scarfed into Ficious Rend. And Sucker Punch will KO me. I have a plan. I'm going to send in my Assault Vest Dragapult and Wild Charge the Veltal. Oh, and by the way, don't, um, don't blame me for using Wild Charge. Blame the Pokemon Company for putting in Zamazenta's move pool. And Zamazenta and Zashin have pretty much the exact same move pool, minus their signature moves. And that still didn't KO, and it was super effective. But yeah, you know, Zamazenta is just as good as Ashian, don't you know? Super effective wild charge did absolutely nothing. So now I have to behemoth bash Grimmsnarl and hope that I outspeed, which I might, I might not. Hopefully I do. <clears throat> I just don't think it's gonna work out. After this, if I um if I don't win this one, I'm gonna go and do Dynamax Adventures because I need to cool down. I uh, I know my voice is not very evident with this, but I'm starting to get extremely frustrated. So I'm going to play some Dynamax Adventures. Yeah, protect stalling's not gonna work when I use Max Lightning. Okay, Soccer Punch did about half. Max Lightning should KO. I'm hoping it does. Okay, I was about to say, it better. I was going to be heated. I was going to actually be irritated if it didn't. I'm just trying to take care of the Dark Types, so it's safe to bring in Calyrex after Zamazenta goes down. And since my Dragapult's Assault Vest, it is still susceptible to Soccer Punch, no matter what I do. And I am not given a choice anymore. Oh, it's Dracovish, okay. That's right, I switched out Dracovish because he would be dead to a Soccer Punch. I thought Dracovish went down. Dragon <clears throat> Dragapult is faster. Max Phantasm. Vicious Rend. He's gonna soccer punch. Yep. There goes Dragapult. Which means I am now relying on my Calyrex to finish this. 
and Calyrex is going to get one-shotted by Soccer Punch. Oh great, and now I'm forced to struggle. Never mind. Alright, Calyrex, let's see you 1v3 this. Calyrex and Zamazenta. Oops. Um, I have to, I have to Astral Barrage, if I don't, there's, if I don't take this chance, I am definitely going to lose. I'm gonna fight this, because if I win, I live, if I lose, I'll be dead, and I can't win if I don't fight. Never mind, I got soccer punched anyways, and I thought they were gonna use Reflect. Even though Behemoth Bash is going to take out the Grimmsnarl. I'm going to survive another Dazzling Gleam so long as it's the same damage roll and not a crit. And I could use Dig. Only problem is there's one more Pokemon. And I know for a fact, you have the Tidragon. I knew it. I knew they had something up their sleeve. Yeah, I don't outspeed either of these, but I refuse to surrender. I absolutely refuse to surrender. Yep, yeah, they're Dynamaxing. Probably their Hydragon. Yep. Yeah. Dynamax Hydreigon, let me guess, Max Flare. Max Flare to finish it off, or Max Wormwind so they can try to be funny. Like, yeah, dude, you're so cool. Efeltal is definitely not broken at all. Never mind, you got a high roll for Dazzling Gleam. Looks like I'm shiny hunting Xerneas. Guess I'll do that for a couple hours. I'm going back to this, um, going back to the calculator that I used. I am going to do the calculations on what if it took, um, what if it took 20 minutes and then 15, assuming that I'm able to do it that fast. So clear 300 times 20. So assuming you can do them in 20 minutes, or 3 of them in 1 hour, it's going to take you 100 hours for one shiny, assuming the 300th is the shiny. And now let's find out for 15 minutes. Now if you're absolutely cracked and you're able to do 4 an hour, it'll take you 75 hours to do 300. But the restricted meta is completely fair, guys. Just remember that. You know, when even uh, Mr. World Champion himself, Wolf Lick, admits there's a problem with um, with Zashin being so powerful, that's how you know you screwed up. Because even he says that Zashin shouldn't be that strong. But yet Zashin is that strong. I just don't see the point in making something that strong with practically no counters. And I know that um, the guy that got the shiny Gengar and Damien, I know neither of you are in the stream. 
But I just wanted to say uh, thank to, I just wanted to say thanks to both of you guys for actually joining the stream. Because it definitely gives me motivation to keep dealing with people like that. You know, even if I I don't care if I average one viewer stream, that's still entertainment to at least one person. So as long as I'm doing my job as a YouTuber and providing entertainment for someone, it gives me motivation to keep going. And tomorrow, I'm going to get gold on the M4. The only reason I didn't do it today um, is because I just... I pulled an all-nighter because I couldn't sleep. And I'm probably not going to be able to sleep tonight because I passed out at 9 o'clock in the morning and slept until 3 in the afternoon. So I'm probably not going to fall asleep tonight either. So I'm going to try and stay up until 10 p.m. tomorrow to sleep. I know, such a great idea. But that's just the way life goes sometimes. I'm going to stream maybe an hour, maybe two of Dynamax Adventures. Then I'm going to do some off-camera. However, if I get the shiny Xerneas, I'll take a clip. Like, I'll get the clip of me getting shiny Xerneas. I don't know. I like to play off meta. I like to be that one guy that uses Pokemon that are not necessarily good. And I know, call me, like, call me cliche, call me weird, call me a bad player, call me whatever. But at the end of the day, I think... <clears throat> I think that it's not about winning, it's about battling with the Pokemon you like and making it work. Quite, um, in my opinion, I think Sylveon is really cool. Sylveon's definitely my favorite fairy type. Besides Alcremie, but still, Sylveon's my favorite uh, fairy type. And I have it shiny, so I wanted to make a Trick Room team featuring Sylveon. And Vaporeon is my favorite EV evolution, so I had to make a build for Vaporeon. That build for Vaporeon turned out to be a lot better than I thought it would be, because I thought it would be really bad and really trashy. But it turned out to be an extreme tank build, which is honestly really good. I'm happy that it turned out as good as it did. And once again, I'm going to try and find out how to <clears throat> get the audio to start working with my capture card. And the sooner I get that done, the sooner people are going to retain interest. But I know it's late and I can't expect anyone to stay in my stream for too long once they see it. And if you're a new viewer to the stream that's watching this after the fact, I would appreciate it if you did at least like or comment or subscribe. And if anyone has any good, like, suggestions for a team, or for a trick room team specifically, definitely let me know, because I will be interested in hearing about it. It would definitely... Yeah, I, I would take it into consideration. And by the way, I don't use Pokemon Showdown to test my teams. I do all of my teams in-game, which can take me... It, it can take me up to a week to make one team. So, yeah. I put a lot of dedication into my teams only for them to get absolutely wiped out by Zacian or Eveltal or something like that, you know? It's not fair at all. <clears throat> it's not fair that I put all this time into making teams and people just say, Behemoth played go for her and your time means nothing. But I have an idea for a Zashin counter that I just came up with literally as I'm speaking. Why don't I just make a Seismitoad build? A very tanky, very offensive Seismitoad. Give it a lot of a give it um, max HP EVs, max HP IVs, and give it no speed because I don't want it to have I don't want it to be fast because Trick Room. I like using Trick Room. Ever since I learned how it works, I've been like, dude, this is sick. I love it. So, yeah, having a Seismitoad could counter Zacian because stab ground type moves. And I just realized that I should not be using my 
max ooze because I need it for Zom or not Zomazenta for Xerneas. I don't know why I said I started saying Zashi and then I started saying Zomazenta. I'm like, no, Xerneas. I mean, I can show, um, after this Dynamax adventure, I can show off all my shinies. I'm gonna unplug my mic again and go back to watching YouTube, but if anyone, like, has anything to say just comment it and I'll start paying attention to my other monitor because I have a monitor under my TV that my PC is wired to that I'm doing my OBS studio off of so if anyone has something they want to talk about or they want to say go ahead and comment it but I'm gonna have my headset unplugged for the time being because it is getting really late and I don't want to be super loud